G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Welcome back to another episode. Now, just because you can doesn't mean you should. That is the, uh, the, the, the topic of conversation for this particular video. Now, what we're talking about here is the integration or the ability to integrate Microsoft Loop Pages into SharePoint. You can technically do it, but should you be doing it? I would say that I would avoid this. Um, I, I get asked this question a lot about how can we uh, surface or, or envisage or see or integrate our loop pages in with SharePoint pages. Now we can use the embed part, uh, web part, which we're gonna take a look at now, but the user experience, uh, in my opinion anyway, is it great. So I would suggest that there are other ways that we could educate users on how to use both um, at the same time or for different purposes or uh, different use cases. So let's have a look at what the experience is and then we're going to have a look at how we actually use uh, the embed code. So we'll grab a link from a loop, uh, loop workspace page uh, and then we'll use the embed web part. So let's just dive in. We'll have a look at the end result first uh, and then we'll reverse engineer that and we'll actually implement it. So we can see here I'm on the landing and I'm on a, uh, just on a, a, a page here. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to copy the URL of this. I'm just gonna jump back onto the home page of the landing, and then I'm gonna paste this page back in and let's have a look at the load experience. So first thing you can see is that it's not rendered uh, straight away, all right? So when I scroll down a little bit here and I hop mouse and hover over that embed web part, that's when it comes to life. Now you can see here that it is a page, but I do get the whole uh, experience of loop. So I've got the side panel, I've got the top, I've got all the buttons. So it's not really just the page itself. Now, one thing to note here is it is a kind of responsive and we can uh, hide the panel on the left-hand side of the loop workspace as well. So let's just say that I uh, minimize the screen width here. You can see that that panel uh, disappears, all right? So now we do get a page-like experience. You can see that I've got the panel here. I can slide that back out and back in. Let's just expand it full screen. Um, and you can see when I refresh the page, and again, it, it didn't it didn't expand in that, uh, in that frame either. And you can see I've just refreshed the page and I do get these, um, you know, this welcome um, uh, dialog box as well. And I'm back to this experience here. Yes, I can slide the page backwards and, and like I would if I was in the loop app itself, all right? So that's the user experience. Yes, we can integrate it. I can um, uh, engage and add uh, and contribute to this loop page inside of SharePoint. So let's now look at how we actually integrate and do um, the embedding of a loop page into a SharePoint page. So you can see here, I'm just on a, a standard communication site. Let's just create a new Hey, a blank page here, all right? So we'll just create a blank one and we will use the embed web part. So I'm just going to go loop uh, page. Um, let's just change it from overlap to image and title. We'll get rid of our text web part. We'll add what we call the embed web part. Now we'll just pop that in the page. You can see on the right-hand side here, we need to kind of use this iframe um, uh, tag here, all right? So I've got this tag here. I'm just gonna paste it in and you can see the source needs to be the link to that loop page, all right, or loop component. We set the height and we set the width, all right? So let's now just jump over to the loop app and I've got, uh, let's grab this page here, all right? So I've got this page, it's just from the getting started loop workspace. We jump up to the share, um, the share button at the top here and then we go loop component. So I'll grab this loop component. It's gonna generate the link for us and you can see people in Contoso with the link can edit. We can jump into our settings and we can change that if we want to. We'll just apply that to created uh, that custom link. The link has been copied. We'll jump back over to our SharePoint page. We're just gonna replace this loop link here and we'll paste in that uh, link to that loop component or that loop page, all right? So you can see there, it's now been embedded. Let's now republish this page. And you can see that we do get the full uh, the full experience of loop inside of the SharePoint page. But you can also see there 
that the experience isn't ideal, right? So when we, we're back on the page, we've got this, we hover over, that's when we get uh, and it comes to life and we can then start to, to um, uh, experience loop and add our content to this loop page as well, all right? So that's how we go about uh, if you wanted to go down that path of being able to integrate or embed your loop pages into a SharePoint page. Yes, technically it can be done. We've just seen how we do it. Is the user experience great? Maybe not, um, but it can be done. Uh, so I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.